So getting back to the question, what is the main reason I got cancer? I was diagnosed at 25 years old, I believe, 25, or maybe I just turned 26. I had colon cancer, and of course the initial thinking behind colon cancer is you get it from eating, right? Because it's in your GI tract. That's where all the food goes. And I, I actually, I do believe that colon cancer is usually linked with your lifestyle in terms of um, and what you're putting into your body. However, most people get colon cancer when they're in their at least 50, um, at least 55, I think it is. So, and, and more often in your 60s or 70s. And this this type of cancer usually takes that long to, I guess, form. It takes decades and decades. And in my case, I was only 25 years old. So according to my oncologist, she, th she believed I was too young for the colon cancer to have formed due to my eating habits. Because that's, that's really fast. 25 years is too fast. So now it comes to maybe it's hereditary, right? When in doubt, it's usually hereditary. And my dad had a very similar cancer, almost the exact same thing. He had colorectal cancer, which he was diagnosed with like normal people at, at a normal age around 55 or something. So yeah, right, it has to be hereditary if he had it and then I got it. Now, there's testing behind this to see if they're linked. Um, man, I, I am blanking on what the testing is called. You medical experts out there probably know what it's called. Uh, but we did the medical test to see if our DNA was linked, if, uh, if yeah, the cancer is hereditary or whatever else. And our DNA was, it was completely different. So this kind of ruled out that it was not hereditary. The cancer I got was different from the cancer my dad got. So that makes you wonder even more than how the heck did I get this, you know? So I've done a lot of reading and when it, when it comes to cancer or disease or any negative health effects, your environment is more influential than your genetics. Imagine that. So where you grow up and where you live has a more pround, profound effect on your health and on your longevity, how long you're gonna live, than your genetics. There's a quote or something. It's like, who you're associated with is more important than who you are related to. Something like that, I forget. Anyways, so I grew up in Hamilton, which was an old airfield, and they always said that um, you shouldn't grow vegetables or the, the soil's nuclear because it, it's an old military base and they said there was nuclear stuff in the ground. So this, of course, came to mind because I uh, I had recently just watched the movie Aaron Brockovich. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely put that on your bucket list. It's a great movie. She might have won Best Actress for it or that movie might have won Best Picture, but um, it's one of my sister's like top 10 favorite movies of all time. And I, I only recently watched that during this time when I was going through everything. And, and basically, spoiler alert, uh, the, the entire neighborhood, the water that they're drinking is com contaminated and everyone got cancer. Like, and you know, again, you don't get cancer like that. Cancer is something that takes years and years to develop. So they only found out later on in life. So I was wondering maybe if it was like something within the ground of where I lived in this military base with all those rumors. If you liked what you saw and you wanna to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasevich. It's completely free, it's linked below and easy to use.